Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, the station where you watch and experience. I'm your tutor Mr. Mwangi and I'm taking you through chemistry form 2. So what are the goals of this lesson? By the end of this lesson, you'll have been, you will be able to state the members of noble gases, which is a group in the periodic table, and then explain the physical and some of the chemical properties of noble gases. So noble gases. As you can see, we have the periodic table. Previously, we have mentioned that this table contains uh, basically 118 elements and they are classified according to their behavior, that is physical and chemical properties. Those with similar properties placed in the same group referred to as a chemical family. So today, in this lesson, we are going to look at uh, noble gases. The members, as you can see, we identify it as the uh, the group which is to the far right of the periodic table. The members, you can see them there. We have uh, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, etc. Basically, we have one, two, three, four, five, six members of this group. Helium, neon, argon, uh, and, we, uh, and we have uh, their atomic number as 2, 8, uh, 18. That is 2, 10, 18, and uh, 36, we have 54 and 86. Uh, from that, uh, from the atomic number, we get the atomic structure. Helium has got two erections, therefore we have one energy level, which is stable, complete. Neon, uh, atomic number 10, electronic configuration 2, 8, we have argon, atomic number 18, electronic configuration 288. As you can see from the diagram, we have the uh, structure. And uh, we mentioned earlier that uh, if the outermost energy level has the maximum number of electrons that it can hold, then the atom is said to be stable. So atomic size increases down the group in noble gases. Why does the atomic size increase? This is because there is increase in the number of occupied energy level. So reactivity of noble gases. These are gases, basically. They are stable. And since they are stable, this means that the outermost energy level is complete. And that means very high ionization energy is required. That is, to remove an electron from the outermost energy level, it will require a lot of energy. And this makes them uh, to be uh, less reactive. Ionization energy decreases down the group as the atomic size increases. So you will find that uh, some of these atoms will react. But basically, this will require application of a lot of uh, energy in form of heat, which may enable the reaction to take place. So since they are inert, what are some of the application of these gases? Let's look at helium. It is used in weather balloon. It is the second lightest uh, element. Uh, why do we prefer helium rather than hydrogen in uh, weather balloons? You realize that uh, hydrogen is not stable, but helium is stable. Therefore, the risk of uh, helium reacting is minimum. Uh, neon is used in uh, uh, tubes because it gives us different colors. So these tubes have been used, uh, for instance, in display. And uh, uh, we also have neon and argon being used in a uh, uh, bulb because of their inert nature. They prevent the oxidation of the uh, film in the tube or in the bulb. Then. Did we get to get uh, to understand the concept or the goals of this lesson? Let's try to answer the following question. List the members of noble gases. State the reason why noble gases are referred to as uh, group zero. Uh, highlight the application of noble gases. You can refer to students, uh, chemistry students book two. Or most importantly, give us a, a, a text visit our YouTube or Facebook page at Erimu TV or give us a tweet at Erimu TV underscore KE. In your Twitter, Mr. Mongi Francis, stay tuned for more lessons to come.